Hello, Tommy here again. Today I want to talk about uh, stacking in order to make multiple pieces uh, from one cut. Uh, I'm going to do this very simple and quickly and it's going to be very rudimentary. What I have here is some resawed wood off of a 1x8. I actually did that with a handsaw making another project and that's left over so it'd be good to use as a demonstration for this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these two pieces together tape them where they'll stay as one piece, apply the pattern, and then uh, cut it. So what I usually, what I like to do is I like to tape the edges first, get them together like that, then I have a piece of tape pretty much cut to the size, put that on it. Make sure you keep everything straight, fold it over, go all the way around the edge like that. There are multiple ways to do this, this is just one way. Uh, some of those books that I recommended in the very first video have, have methods of doing this, and that's where I first learned it. But this is kind of a, a procedure that I have come up myself, created for my own use. Now this pretty well works for me, has so far. I'll go around the edges like that to start with. Make sure I cover both sides, get all the way around. Okay, and from that point, I just uh, <clears throat> do it like I would a normal piece, and uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to the video that shows how I mount my patterns. So let me finish this up to get the pattern mounted, and I'll show you the finished uh, uh, mounting of it before I actually go to the scroll saw with it. Okay, so I've got the pattern mounted, and as you see, I went all the way around with the tape on this one. I wanted a little extra coverage on the edges to help hold it together. I also drilled a entry hole. I didn't have to. You can come in from the edge to cut this one, so it's not really an internal cut. But I wanted to preserve the integrity of the edge as much as possible and start to cut from in here. Uh, there's multiple ways of doing this. This is the one I, I use most of the time. Uh, there are some other circumstances you might need to do something a little different. Some of them use a little tab on these with a brad through it or a little nail. Uh, but this is what I've used almost exclusively. So we'll move over to the scroll saw and, and cut this real quick and demonstrate it. Okay, so I've moved over to the saw. I have uh, checked my blade. Since the last cut I did was relief cut, I checked to make sure I had the blade in a 90 degree angle to the uh, work surface. And uh, I've got the blade, but the blade threaded through the hole, and I've got the tension where I want it. And so we're just going to real quickly cut through this, and that one we'll be cutting two pieces at once.
Now we've cut two identical geese. We go over the table and we'll look at them. Hang on here. So just a quick recap here. Uh, cap this little video off. Uh, that's that's one method. That's one I use most of the time to cut multiple pieces uh, of identical. Those are identical. Uh, that technique is going to be critical in the next video I'm going to do, which is going to be about inlay. Uh, it kind of combines this video and the last video in that you do stack cutting, which is what this is called, along with an angle, which will allow you to inlay one piece into the other. Uh, and, and if you do it right, it comes out perfect. Uh, I, I really like doing that. I've done several of them. Uh, now, in my, my uh, scroll saw, I had a number three blade. That works fine. You can use a five. It really depends on the thickness of the material, the hardness of the material, and the more you stack, of course, uh, the harder it is to cut. But uh, that's generally, in, in most woods, that's not a problem. Uh, you can do more than two. You can do as many as you got room to get on your saw and still operate the, the arm of the blade up and down. I have cut as many as four or five on, on thin material. This was about a quarter inch material. You can go to a smaller material to cut even more. It's depending on what you want to do with the multiple objects. There are projects you can do that you need multiples, and it's it's not just a matter of making them identical. Sometimes one cut will give you three or four pieces instead of having to make three or four cuts. So if this is helpful, please hit the like button and the subscribe button, and I'll try to keep uh, this kind of stuff coming. Uh, we're going to get beyond the basic lessons, and I'll start just doing some projects and demonstrating some different patterns as we move forward. But that's it for this one, and I hope you join me in the next one. Thank you for watching.